Good day, Sven the Slayer here once again, and welcome back to StarMade. In this tutorial, I'll be going over how to create an advanced ore processor. Now, you may ask yourself, what exactly makes an advanced ore processor as opposed to a simple capsule refinery? And, the, you know, it doesn't matter what you really call it, I'm just calling it advanced ore processor. The difference is, advanced ore processor has automatic filtering. So, what you'll need is a capsule refinery, two storage chests, and as many factory enhancers as your power system can support, or as many as you want. Um, I'm just going to have um, produce 100 capsules at once. So, the capsule refinery will refine you know, all the capsules it, it can that you can stuff in it, but it only has 35 slots and there are 24 raw resources and 26 um, produced resources so production resources so that's 50 slots so you can't fit 50 items in a single capsule refinery so you either have to have multiple multiple capsule refineries or have a single capsule refinery uh, with some automatic filtering so what we have here is take two chests and you can lay these out any way you want I just happen to put them you know on either side of my capsule refinery and then you select the capsule refinery with C and the input chest your dump chest with V and then the output chest C and V on the capsule refinery so you don't need to do any filtering from the dump chest this doesn't need to be on this will be the chest you put all of your raw resources in like so. Now this chest will need to be filtered and you'll just have to do that manually for all 26 um, different capsules and the metal mesh and crystal circuits. So I'm going to do that off camera and be right back. I've now added all the capsules and alloy metal mesh and crystal circuits and one thing you can do is you can actually use copy and paste in here so you can just type out the word capsule and that'll just give you all the capsules and I just you know add one add paste you know control V add the next one okay add paste and it'll speed up the process significantly and oops I need to add those back 9999 Okay, so fix that. <laughs> and that's it done. And if you turn it on, this can be on. If you turn the capsule refinery on, it'll start pumping out items. Um, but we just want to add our factory enhancers. I'm going to the build block for that. Let's see, and I already got my big old box set up. So now I'll produce our. Uh, refine a hundred raw resources at a time. So if I turn it on, see that it just absolutely dumps items in here. And then as soon as this ticks over, it'll pull all the items into that chest. And it's it's really fast, as long as you have the, the power to <laughs> handle it. Another thing that makes this useful is you can then have all of your factories linked to the storage chest. So C on the factories, V on the storage chest. These factories will now pull directly from my stockpile of refined resources. And then what you can also do is take the storage chest and hit V on you know, the additional um, factories. So if I tell this to make uh, cannon barrels here, it'll start pulling resources out and make some cannon barrels because I have enough resources for it. And now it doesn't have any more um, ore, processed ore, so it'll just constantly pull crystal circuits in an attempt to make cannon barrels. It doesn't know to stop pulling those raw resources. So if I you know, have one thing producing items but it runs out, it'll just suck up all these crystal circuits until there are no more. 
but if I take the storage block and link it back in, now every time the storage block takes over, it'll pull those raw resources back into your stockpile. Turn this back on, and now it'll actually start producing some cannon barrels, but these numbers will not, it won't hold a stockpile here beyond what it needs to create the capsules. I think I'm actually, at, I can't be at a high toll. Yeah, I'm at a high toll. I didn't get too much of those. And see, this this will always be you know, one or two production um, because uh, storage chests tick half the speed of factories. So this will tick over twice, but when it does, the second tick, it will the factory will pull, or the uh, chest will pull back the items. And then as soon as you turn this off, those items will go right back to your resource pool. So you don't have to be shuffling around items by hand all the time. You can just have one chest that handles all of your um, refined resources and one chest just to dump all of your refined or, or your raw resources. Getting my words mixed up and this will just keep chugging out capsules. Now there's currently a bug. Um, uh, if you have a chest with items outputting a signal using an OR gate, items when they are pulled out of that chest, when it, the chest is emptied from a f using a factory, that OR gate will not shut off. Um, when that bug is fixed, you can simply have this chest with an OR gate next to it linked to your capsule refinery. So when you put your items into this chest, it'll automatically turn on the capsule refinery and then turn it off when it's done saving you power. Um, but sadly that's not possible until that bug gets fixed. And uh, yeah, I think that'll about cover it for how to create a simple but convenient advanced ore processor. Um, thanks for watching, I hope you learned something, and I will see you in the next video.